Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and this is going to be covering the Pico motion trackers within Steam VR. And anyone that's been watching the channel has obviously seen I've already covered this in Steam VR. So I'm going to get straight to the point here. Pico have completely messed up their file directory structure within Pico Connect's um, drivers. So while some stuff like VR Chat and Dance Dash and other stuff is working just fine, really, um, I think that's based off luck more than anything. So Blade and Sorcery, I can not get working. Um, Dance Dash, while working just fine without an avatar, as soon as you enable an avatar, it would break. Um, there's a few silly things here. So I'm going to give credit where credit's due um, and bring up the, the Discord from the the guys that obviously found and obviously experimented with the configuration files. So the Iwumushi Pico VR Discord, and I cannot say that in my accent, um, Elbius, and that is either Gmouser, uh, Gmail, Gmouser26, or Gmouser26, I don't know which, sorry mate. Um, what they found is essentially Pico have messed up and not gave um, the correct file directory, the working directory, for the motion tracker drivers um, to Steam VR. So this section here is Pico Connects on or off setting, essentially for um, for the games to use if they support Pico motion trackers. Um, but in Steam VR, it's potluck whether these um, tracking points will work. So in the case of Blade and Sorcery, it wouldn't work. So very quickly go over what the deal is on this, um, just so people have got reference to why things are not working. Um, if you get in as far as the input folder, um, I will put on the screen now where you need to go. The input folder has controller input, obviously configuration files. And one of these is the Pico tracker. So opening this, again, I've not had a, a decent look at this since, um, since obviously testing these new ones. What's happened is the, the working directory for all of the um, estimated tracking points is look into a Swift folder. Now, the Swift, for anyone that's not aware, is the old Pico Motion Trackers, the development kit. Do not buy these. They're discontinued or they weren't even available outside China, outside China anyway. So don't buy those. They're not going to work. Um, but what's happened in the software is it's still looking to that working directory of the dev kits. So what the guys have done is obviously notice this um notice there wasn't the entire population that they could use with Steam vr so they've added um camera profile keyboard profile elbows ev everything they possibly can because those guys are more interested in getting vam working if you don't know what vam is i'm not gonna show it um they're more interested in getting as many tracking points as they can using these um, trackers with the estimated points so essentially telling steam vr Hey, look, you've got all of these things you can use. So that's the first file that needs to be changed, essentially, um, if you want to add more. Um, but the main fix is adding the missing Swift folder. So you need to make a new Swift folder, and then within there, you can tell SteamVR whatever trackers you've got, or trackers in inverted commas. So we've obviously not got a keyboard tracker. We've not got bloody camera profile tracker. Um, these are all still the estimation points, but if I just open one of these, for example, like a left foot, it's all this is doing is telling Steam VR there is a Vive tracker, a single device on your left foot. So that's essentially all Steam cares about is when the game says, okay, you can do full body tracking and you've got a tracker on your foot, where is the working directory for that? And essentially this was missing. So that's why stuff wasn't working. So very quick fix, drag and drop the files you need, and then uh, launch Pico Connect, get yourself in Steam VR. And stage two, I guess, is not only make sure you're not overwhelming the games that can't use any more than free trackers. Um, start with the waist and the ankles like this. That's the, the most compatible I find. Um, you don't technically need the waist for trackers, still estimated. But you need to go into actual Steam VR bindings so get to your steam vr settings go to controllers go to manage trackers and if you had virtual desktop installed 
um, especially for Quest 3. All of these virtual desktop stuff are like the upper body um, estimation tracking. Turn those off. You, you don't want those mixed up. Um, and the only things you should see enabled um, and green to be able to configure and change is the ones that you've enabled within the Pico Connect overlay here. So I've only got a waist and I've only got ankles. Ankles will be treated as a left and right. So yeah, the Vive Tracker controller bindings, essentially I'm mapping the tracker roll of the left foot to the left foot, right foot to the right foot, and waist to waist. So with other games that can use loads of different tracking points, you need to configure this section as well for what the actual um, what the tracker is. So that's a uh, that's Steam VR quirk with it, how how it operates in Steam um, Steam VR full body tracking. So I've done that now. Um, I can go straight to the one that didn't work because people are going to be more interested in blade and sorcery, I guess. Straight into this, I've only got the waist and the ankles enabled, and I know this works now, um, thankfully. I will go into one thing I want to mention with Blade and Sorcery. And again, this is just down to random bugs um, within the game itself. So I go play, I just select the character, and we can now see the auto tracker thing is now showing. So I'm just hover there and click it. And this blue on my hip is not an actual hip um, tracker. I can move my hips and it's estimated but it's not if I could forward and back it's not really until I move my whole body it doesn't move my hip that is um, the three points I was talking about for compatibility just making sure that that's obviously roughly in line roughly the right place and then start in blade and sorcery so this game the very first time I've set up these trackers configuring trackers within Steam VR, I could not get past this section where you have to hold the trigger to start. A very quick Google led me to a developer telling someone else to disable full body tracking to get past that. Um, that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but what the problem is with this game, if you've messed with um, Steam VR trackers before launching and not restarted Steam VR, um, for whatever reason, Blade and Sorcery doesn't care. It doesn't see the trackers. Or if it does see the trackers, it then doesn't see your hands. So, um, I'm not sure what the deal is with this game. So, will you give me problems? Um, I'll hopefully be able to keep it this time because it's now working. And I can be very cruel and kick people. Spartan kick. I'm going to kick my desk. Nice, you can see the boundary coming up. Um, but we have legs in blade and sorcery. So, that's all people really care about. Um, I'm not going to destroy my room or, my, or break my toes in the process. But, yeah. This is now working, um, but it is a case of just choosing the right combination here. And like I've said, waist and ankle seem to be pretty good for me. Um, and then also making sure Steam VR is set with the controller binding managed tracker options and restarting Steam VR after any changes before launching into a game. So for the most part, like I've shown in previous videos, you can just use this for VR chat. You don't need to mess with any of the new configuration files or Steam VR tracker side. VR chat seems to be perfectly happy listening to this, but it, it can't hurt if you really want to set up your trackers and do it that way. Or change um change tracking points that way. But yeah. As shown, Blade and Sorcerer is now working. Dragon Fist, Kung Fu, that's now working. That takes a quite a, a lengthy um ca calibration process. I mean it it'll give you legs straight away. Now this is uh, working on the configuration files, but the calibration process lets you adjust your feet on the ground, your hip placement, your height. Like It's really good um, compared to Blade and Sorcery, which is just basically stand there and click a button. Um, this is really good with calibration, but it takes time, so I'm not going to show it on video. But Dragon Fist Kung Fu VR is working when you raise your um, knees up, even though I've not got knee um, trackers as an estimation point, using just the basic waist and ankles. Um, nothing on the knees. Then when I raise my feet up, my knee is also reacting correctly on the avatar within this game. So for those asking about knee kicks, yes, you can do knee kicks. So the next one I want to cover, and probably last one really, is Dance Dash. 
Now, this is working. It's working absolutely fine without messing with any of the configuration files. But that turned out to be only without avatars. So, you can see I've got an avatar here in a minute. If I don't trip over stuff in my room. The height's obviously wrong, but what's happened in this game, at least, is um, it's presenting the right trackers again. So I've only got two two trackers here that are seen, plus the controllers. If I go to avatars and just go to none. So as I've shown in the last video, just start this game up and playing it. Plays just fine. It gives you your feet. You've not got to change anything within um, Pico Connect or Steam VR. It just works um, and it's playable. But even with um, even with just like a waist and an ankle on, when you get into an avatar in this game, if you had everything enabled, um, it would just completely fold up on itself. So you'd lift your leg up and your your back would fold back. So that wasn't ideal. So doing this with the new configuration files with the feet and the waist told to Steam VR when it looks to now free trackers it says free trackers are required for avatar tracking i've not actually got a tracker on my waist remember i've only got estimation but when i go into the avatar now if i go in and just make sure i'm not gonna look at the wrong place so i've got avatar here i've got a bit of waist got my feet and we're all good so apart from I've not quite stood a little bit forward to not see my own avatar nose, it's probably not going to come across in recording. But that's all working in here. So if you want to do that, um, like I said, with the with the estimation points, have a play. Um, it does say this game needs free trackers. You can probably do more. But what was happening to me is lifting the foot would fold my back this way. So um, the only stable situation I've come across and I haven't spent too long doing it is just using the waist and the ankles and that just lets me play with an avatar and it looks decent enough for me um, for someone else they might complain but feel free to have a play with the uh, tracker binding points in Pico Connect and Steam VR for this game so I think I've covered it all um, there's not much I can do um, my end I mean I can share the files that are responsible for changing the working directory but the actual fix itself ideally needs to come from pico so people don't really need to do this sort of thing anymore um that was a whole point of pico connects being easy and built in um it's just a silly mistake that it's looking to the old development kit tracker location which is obviously not a thing anymore um being removed from the software you can't actually use development kits with um with this software anymore but it's still got the working directory for it so um and there is a few videos going off on an anti-pico motion tracker stance um they're probably not aware of that bug um it's not even a bug it's just a mistake so while i'm a pretty big fan of the pico motion trackers i'm not someone who plays vr chat um i i've done my fair share of testing with the development kit which were working fine. I didn't think too much about the, the new motion trackers. I mean, they obviously are better, um, but for game compatibility wise, I said I've, I've already refunded Blade and Sorcery because back then I needed to um, mod the game to get the trackers working. Um, not in this in the sense of the actual Steam VR mods. I needed the actual modification of the game to calibrate them correctly. But now this has changed. Um, yeah, it's down to Pico. So Blade and Sorcery is not to blame. Um, Dragon Fist Kung Fu, Dance Dash, everything's not to blame. It is Pico and their quite sloppy oversight of where the drivers are actually loading from. So, very easy fix. It's going to be in the video description. I hope it helps. For the guys that are obviously playing VAM, um, I can't share that on this channel. I won't share it on this channel. But there's going to be a link to the, the Discord if you happen to be in the Discord, and then uh, a link to their comment on the fix. Nice and easy. So, cheers guys. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps.